Pepsi, live for now. Two struggling rivals meet tonight, and the good news for the Rangers and Islanders? Somebody has to get two points. ESPN New York's Katie Strang keeps it simple. A rivalry is only as good as the teams involved, right? Well, at least the Rangers and Islanders will both be desperate teams when they square off at Madison Square Garden Friday night. Why so desperate? For the blue shirts, is it Heinrich Lundqvist or something else? They are just four, uh, one, four, and two since he signed his massive contract. Uh, is that enough reason for Rangers fans to feel a little restless about the deal? <laughs> I think Henry Lundqvist will be fine. I, I don't put the streak that we've seen on him necessarily. If you look at the Rangers puck possession numbers during the last six games, they've not been good. Vigneault gets here, looks at his roster, and thinks to himself, you know, maybe I didn't have here what I thought I did to play the open ice style. And it, the Rangers are going to have to make some tough personnel decisions down the line. For the Islanders, Steve Silverman of CBS New York sets his sights on GM Garth Snow. It's on Snow, who did nothing to help his promising team improve. The Islanders had a lot of areas that needed to get better in the offseason, and goaltender was one of them. So what comes of tonight's matchup? Holiday wishes, I guess. What in sport today would make Boomer Esiason happy? My man Chris Kreider has a hat trick tonight versus the Islanders, and, and Henrik Lundqvist shuts out Jonathan Tavares and Matt Martin and all those guys. And you'd be happy. Oh, I'd be stoked. As for the other side, how about some far-fetched mathematical playoff hopes delivered by Chris Vada in this tweet? So you're saying there's a chance. Maybe somebody in New York hockey can get what they want for Christmas. For Recapper, presented by Pepsi, I'm Alexa Datt. Get the whole story here.